your heading? Uh, my heading's 005 right now, and that's pretty much on course. Yeah, the uh, there's stuff going on in the warning area, so you're not going to be able to do that. Flighting of 350. Cancel VFR flight following. If you go out there, you're going to be in serious problems. I'm not. I'm not kidding here. They called and they said, "Do not let anybody go near the warning area." So if you want to cancel flight following, that's fine with me. But I want you to know it ain't going to get you on course. When you say near the warning area, they don't own that airspace. They just get to use it. Is that correct? They're using it. They told us, "Don't let anyone go near there." The military is operating out there. I don't know how to make myself more clear to you. If you go that way, you're going to meet new friends, and you're not going to want to meet them. Really? I'll just check when I get on the ground. I'll, I'll, I'll avoid the airspace, but I'm going to check when I get on the ground, because I understand that you can go through an MOA, and they're just operating in there just like I would be, and there's no rule against it. Am I wrong? You know, honestly, I'm not going to tell you you're wrong, and I've been at work 11 minutes now, and you are the first aircraft I've talked to, and... The information I had was no one is to go in Sea Lord airspace due to the military operating. I don't know what they're doing there. Like I said, I just got here, and I'm just following the procedures and relaying the information. Well, I, all right, I know I'm bogging up the airspace. If you got a lot of people on it, tell me to shut up and go on, I will. But uh, my question would be, what if, what if I didn't even talk to you and I went in it because there's no rule against it? You could be intercepted. For what purpose? I mean, you're in, you're in space they don't own. If you'd like to call the facility when you're on the ground and discuss it, that would be fine with me. I'll give you a phone number, or you could call a center and, and ask for military operations and, and get a detailed explanation. I really can't give you one and work air traffic at the same time, though. I know that. How about uh, give me center cell phone number? I will call them because, you know, I do this a lot when I don't even talk to a soul, and it's kind of scary to me that they can close down some airspace. Well, let me tell you something. I worked race day, and race day in Daytona is a very, very busy day. And I was working this sector that I'm on right now, and we could not let anyone go seven miles east of where you were, and everything got changed because the military was conducting an operation. So they can do it, trust me. Okay, well, I'm, I'm going to call two people on Monday. I'll call them and AOPA. That's terrific. You know, like I said, I've now been at work 13 minutes. You're the only airplane I've talked to, and I was told to keep everyone out of there. That's. That I'm just relaying the information. I'm just the messenger. I'm not trying to shoot you. I appreciate it. I, I'm just really concerned with the safety issue because lots of times I don't even talk to you, and if I didn't have somebody's grandchildren on, I wouldn't have today, and I would have flown right through it. Well, you know, that I, I really can't give you any more info. All right, well, just give me the telephone number for Center. That's all I really want. I'll call Center. I'm not afraid of them. <laughs> Neither am I, but I don't have the phone number to Center. I can give you the phone number here, though. Got your phone number. I've talked to you guys like that. Yeah, I don't have the phone number to the Center. You know, it's, it's Jacksonville Air Route Traffic Control Center. I mean, I, you know, you can probably find it in the blue pages. I'll get it when I get them going north. Okay, well, maintain VFR then, heading of uh, 350. Okay, I'll do that for now. And uh, if, by the way, what's the Sea Lord uh, call? Because I could call them too. Yeah, you could call Sea Lord. Uh, do you want the frequency for that? Sure, I'd love to know how. I mean, I'm just really interested. I fly here every week, and, and it's not like something I don't do really often. Okay, stand by. I've, I've got a couple other things I have to do real quick before I get that, okay? No problem at all. I appreciate your help. I'm not trying to bog down the frequency. Number 24887, contact Jacks, approach 121.3. It is Tango at Daytona, altimeter 3012. 665 Alpha Daytona, are you on to? Uh, we are on frequency 665 Alpha. Hello. I was directly trying to. Number 6865 Alpha Daytona, altimeter 3012. Do you have Adis Tango? Uh. 3012, and we will get Tango for Daytona, 65 Alpha. November 65 Alpha, just tell me when you have the ace, expect the visual approach on way 7 left. We'll let you know, 65 Alpha. Number 39, never switch to anyone that frequency, I don't even know if you'll get answered. The frequency we use for air traffic with Sea Lord is 120.9 or 5, and then they have a backup 133.9 or 5. Frequency change at your discretion.
No, I'm going to take VFR flight following. I'm not going to fight the system today. I'll wait till I get on the ground, and Monday I'll get AOPA and their legal division, and we'll ask the questions. Like I said, don't shoot me. I'm just the messenger. I'm not trying to. I'm, it just scares me, and the word safety will come up out of my mouth, that if I didn't talk to you, I would be in their MOA because it's not their airspace. I, w I would uh, concur with you and agree to get an explanation. I would do the same thing if I was concerned. Yes, sir. I mean, it could hurt. That to me one day and could get hurt. Thank you much for your help, and I'll shut up now. Are you ready to hand me off to Jack? 20 Alpha Squawk 3251. 3251. Seneca Sierra Alpha.